Dear viewers, greetings. This present video is about high performance liquid chromatography. In short form, it is called as HPLC. This video will cover the following topics. First, introduction about high performance liquid chromatography or HPLC. And next, advantage of HPLC over low pressure liquid column chromatography followed by types of HPLC principle of HPLC, instrumentation of HPLC, applications of HPLC, advantages of HPLC, and finally, limitations of HPLC. First, high performance liquid chromatography or HPLC. High performance liquid chromatography or HPLC is an analytical technique used to separate, identify, and quantify the components in a mixer. HPLC is a better form of column liquid chromatography. In HPLC, a column holds packaging material or stationary face, a pump moves the mobile face through the column, and a detector shows the retention times of the molecules. In the beginning, HPLC pumps only had a pressure capability of 500 PSI or 500 pounds per square inch. Nowadays, a new HPLC instruments could develop up to 6000 PSI of pressure and incorporated improved injectors, detectors and columns. In HPLC, a small volume of sample to be analyzed is introduced to the mobile phase stream and is retarded by specific chemical or physical interactions with the stationary phase. The amount of retardation mainly depends on the nature of the analyte and the composition of both stationary and mobile phases. The most common solvent used in the HPLC are methanol and acetonitrile and the term HPLC was coined by the professor Sauber Havath in the year 1970. He indicated the fact that high pressure was used to generate the flow which is required for liquid chromatography in a packed columns. Advantages of HPLC over low pressure column liquid chromatography. There are many advantages of HPLC over the traditional low pressure column liquid chromatography. They are greater sensitivity due to the presence of various directors, improved resolution, speed, easy sample recovery because of the presence of less elute volume to remove and a wide variety of stationary phases. Types of high performance liquid chromatography. There are five types of HPLC. They are normal phase HPLC, reverse phase HPLC, size exclusion HPLC, ion exchange HPLC, and finally bioaffinity HPLC. The first type of HPLC is normal phase HPLC. Normal phase HPLC separates the analytes based on its polarity. It has a polar stationary phase, usually silica, and non-polar mobile phases like hexane, methylene chloride, chloroform, diethyl ether, and mixtures of solvents. The normal phase HPLC technique is used for water sensitive compounds, geometric isomers, cis-trans isomers, class separations, and chiral compounds. The second type of HPLC is reverse phase HPLC. The stationary phase of the reverse phase HPLC is nonpolar or hydrophobic while the mobile phase is an aqueous moderate polar. Reverse phase HPLC works on the principle of hydrophobic interactions. Hence, the more nonpolar materials is, the longer it will be retained. Reverse phase HPLC technique is used for nonpolar, polar, ionizable, and ionic molecules. The third type of HPLC is size exclusion HPLC. Size exclusion HPLC is also known as gel permeation chromatography or gel filtration chromatography. And here the column is filled with a material having precisely controlled pore sizes, 
and the particles are separated according to their molecular size. Larger molecules are rapidly washed through the column. Smaller molecules penetrate the porous packaging particles and elute later. Size exclusion HPLC is also helping in determining the treasury and quaternary structure of proteins and amino acids and the size exclusion HPLC is also used for the determination of the molecular weight of polysaccharides. The fourth type of HPLC is ion exchange HPLC. In ion exchange HPLC, retention is based on the attraction between solute ions and charged sites bound to the stationary phase. Here, same charged ions are excluded. Ion exchange HPLC technique is used in purifying water, ligand and ion exchange chromatography of proteins, high pH anion exchange chromatography of carbohydrates and oligosaccharides, etc. The fifth type of HPLC is bioaffinity HPLC. In bioaffinity HPLC, separation is based on the reversible interaction of proteins with ligands. Principle of high performance liquid chromatography. The purification takes place in a separation column between a stationary phase and a mobile phase. The stationary phase is a granular material with very small porous particle in a separation column. The mobile phase is a solvent or solvent mixers which is forced at high pressure through the separation column. And through a wall with a connected sample loop or a small tube or a capillary made of stainless steel, the sample is injected into the mobile phase flow from the pump to the separation column using a syringe. And subsequently, an individual component of the sample migrate through the HPLC column at different rates because they are retained to a variety degree by interactions with stationary phase. After leaving the HPLC column, the individual substance are detected by the suitable detector and passed on as a signal to the HPLC software on the computer. At the end of this operation, chromatogram is developed with the help of HPLC software on the computer is obtained. The chromatogram allows the identification and quantification of the different substances. And next, instrumentation of HPLC. The instrumentation of high performance liquid chromatography or the HPLC includes glass reservoir, the pump, injector, HPLC column, detector, recorder and degasser. First, glass reservoir. Mobile phase contents are contained in a glass reservoir. The mobile phase or solvent in HPLC is usually a mixture of polar and nonpolar liquid components whose respective concentrations are varied depending on the composition of the samples. The second, the pump. The pump is positioned in the most upper stream of the liquid chromatography system and generates a flow of eluent from the solvent reservoir into the system. The role of pump is to force the mobile phase into the HPLC column at desired flow rates and expressed as ml per minute. Flow rates between 0.5 to 2 ml are usually sufficient for most experiments and pumps in modern instruments can reach pressure in a range of 6000 to 9000 psi. The pumps can be used for delivering either a constant or isocratic or changing or gradient composition of the mobile phase. Third, injector. An injector is placed next to the pump. Injector usually micro syringe is used for introducing the sample into the mobile phase flow stream just before the HPLC column. Typical sample volumes are 5 to 20 
microliters. The injector must also be able to withstand the high pressure of the liquid system. The most widely used injection method is based on sampling loops and the use of auto sampler or auto injector is also widely used that allows repeated injection in a set scheduled time. Fourth, HPLC column. The column is considered as the heart of chromatograph. The separation is performed inside the HPLC column and the HPLC columns are usually made of polished stainless steel because stainless steel is tolerant towards a large variety of solvents. HPLC columns are between 50 and 300 millimeter long and have an internal diameter between 2 and 5 millimeter. HPLC columns are commonly filled with a stationary face with a particle size of 3 to 10 micrometer. HPLC column with internal diameters of less than 2 millimeter are often called as microbore columns. The packaging material, the particle size of 5 to 10 micrometer generally used in the column are silica, polymer gels like polystyrene, polymethacrylate, polyhydroxymethacrylate and polyvinyl alcohol and other gels includes cellulose, agarose, dextron and chitosan. Ideally, the temperature of the mobile phase and the HPLC column should be kept constant during an analysis. The pump push the mobile phase through the HPLC column and this resistance causes a high pressure within the chromatograph. Detector Separation of analytes is performed inside the HPLC column, whereas a detector is used to observe the obtained separation. The detector can detect the individual molecules that come out from the HPLC column and the commonly used detectors are UV visible detector, refractive index detector, fluorescence detector, electrochemical detector, operative light scattering light conductivity detector, mass spectrophotometry detector and finally infrared detector or IR detector. The sixth one is recorder. The detector provides an output to a recorder or computer that results in the liquid chromatogram that is the graph of the detector response. And finally degasser. When gas is present in the eluent, this is detected as noise and causes an unstable baseline. Degasser uses special polymer membrane tubing to remove the such gases and the numerous very small pores on the surface of the polymer tube allow the air to go through while preventing any liquid to go through the pore. Applications of High Performance Liquid Chromatography The applications includes quantification of drugs in biological samples, identification of steroids in blood, urine, etc., forensic analysis of textile dyes, determination of cocaine and other drugs of abuse in blood, urine, etc., clinical diagnosis of diseases and disorders, Analysis of synthetic polymers, analysis of biomonitoring of pollutants in environmental analytics, determination of drugs in biological matrix, isolation of valuable products, product purity and quality control of industrial products, pharmaceutical products, and fine chemicals separation and purification of biopolymers such as enzymes or nucleic acids, separation of similar molecules, water purification, detection of phenolic compounds in drinking water, quality control in food industries and finally analysis of pre-concentration of trace components. Advantages of HPLC 
Advantages of HPLC includes speed 5 to 60 minutes, efficiency, high resolution, sensitivity, reproducibility, accuracy, automation, versatile and extremely precise when it comes to identifying and quantifying chemical components. Finally, limitations of HPLC. The limitations are high cost, complexity, low sensitivity for some compounds and irreversibly absorbed components are not detected. Dear viewers, that's all about the HPLC. Thank you for your support. Thank you.